Hello my sugars. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel, Anxiety Art Adventures. Wee! Uh, by the time you see this, it will be July the 4th, so happy July 4th to all of you. And I hope everybody is having a safe and happy holiday weekend. Um, yes, so I'm very, very pleased to show this to you today. I did a lot of research on this, and I'm very excited to show this on my channel. Um, I have not seen this from anyone else yet from this company. Um, so... I've seen a lot of people showing paint by numbers and I'm really interested in paint by numbers. However, I wanted to find somewhere else other than the two companies that I know of that offer paint by numbers by licensed artists, uh, which are Crafties and um, DIY Moonshop or Dye Moonshop, however you want to pronounce it. Um, so I did some research and I found we're, we're hoping, hoping, I found an awesome company that offers a very nice selection of licensed artists for paint by numbers. So we're going to get into this. The name of the company is called um, Masterpiece by Numbers. And I'm going to have the links down below so you can see all of this. Um, it came in this tube, as you can see, Masterpiece by Numbers. And I researched the site and went through a lot of things um, on their site and they they have some really cool cool artists I'll tell you that um, so we are going to get into this now I will say I ordered this on June the 26th and I received it on July the 1st so it only took five days to get to me and they used UPS SurePost. Um, I was not aware that UPS could put things in a mailbox, but guess what? They did. All right, these are paints. We're going to put those over to the side. Oh, I just stabbed myself. Oh, that, be careful of that. There is a, ooh, see that right here? There's a staple. Yeah, that just went in my thumb. Let's hope I don't bleed. Okay, putting all these over to the side. I don't want to see that yet. Ooh, careful. Yikes, that really hurt. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm kind of worried about the staple is going to affect my canvas. Hold on one second. We're going to take the staple out, y'all. It's tool time with Laura. Yeah. If I can do this. I know, y'all want to see this, right? Right. I'm trying to get underneath the staple. Tool time with Laura. Here we go. Yeah, look at that bad boy. I'll see that. That just stuck into my thumb. <laughs> anyway, it's always a fun unboxing with me, isn't it? Yeah, look, see, I'm starting to bleed. Starting to bleed a little bit. It's all good. Okay. Um No big deal. Okay. We're going to pull this out. Oh, wow. Check this out, y'all. Ooh. Okay. Wait, there's something else in here. Okay. All right. Now, this might be a little bit of a lengthy video because I'm going to try and go over this as thoroughly as I can um, to see if this is... All right. I'm going to pause you because I am bleeding. So, hold on. Okay, all oh, better now. Look, I even had a chance to use my my R two D two band aids. Yeah, well, they're Star Wars band aids, but I figured I'd use R two D two one today. Okay, all good. Put some newsboard on it. Cleaned it out. Put some newsboard on. It. Okay, so here is a what do you ever whatever you want to call it a flyer from Masterpiece by Numbers. Uh, thank you so much for purchasing. We appreciate your business. Looking after your kit. You will have everything you need with your kit to produce a wonderful painting. Here are some tips about caring for your brushes. Um, the acrylic paints used will dry quickly if left open for too long. Remember to close the paint pot lids after use to prevent the paint from drying out. Add a drop of water if the paint thickens. 
Uh, made a mistake, if you use the wrong color, let it dry completely. You can then paint over the area with the right color paint. Okay, that's good to know. Clean your paint brushes thoroughly before using a different color. Wash your brushes at the end of the day with clean water so you can carry on using them the next day. Do not use hot water. I did not know that. So only use cold water. Um, handy tips before you begin. Find a nicely lit area to start your paintings. Uh, make sure your surface is protected. Plastic tablecloth or some newspaper will work well. Uh, who, who still gets a newspaper? Let me know that down in the comments below. <laughs> Um, have a container of water close by to clean your brushes when changing colors. Also be sure to have a cloth or some paper towels to dry your brushes in between washes. Okay, this seems like an obvious step. Correspond the number with the correct color, but when you're painting the numbers matching to the correct colors, try to only paint areas with that color before moving on to the next part of the painting. So basically they're saying pick a number, do that entire number on the canvas. Um, let these areas dry before moving on to another color. Uh, clean your brushes with warm water in between, but it just said don't use, oh, well, hot water. Don't use hot water. You can use warm water, but not hot water. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, and then they have their website down below, which is masterpiecebynumbers.com, and they have an email for support. Okay, nice. All right, so I got three cuts, and I'll show you why I got three cuts, is because it was buy two, get one free. So, um, let me tell you the price of the kit before we get into this. Okay, each kit I got was $26.95, unframed. Now, you have the option to get these on frames. So it comes on like a wooden canvas frame. So it's already on the frame and you paint it while it's on the frame. I did not get that because that added another, you know, $25 to it. So it would have been like, you know, $59 if I had ordered it on the frame. Um, so I just got them unframed. Um, yeah, so each one was $26.95. Uh, the shipping was free and There was something else I wanted to say and I forgot. That's okay. Okay. All right. So let me pick the first one that I want to show you, which I was so excited about. Okay. This one. Now, these are linen, like linen. They're very, very soft. Very soft. I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely a linen, a linen material. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. I need to put it somewhere where it's not going to get dirty. Okay. Now, y'all probably are not going to be able to see this now that I think about it. But they include paper. Like, it's like a paper inventory sheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to pull this up and show you the image. Okay, this is the first image. Wait, where are my notes? <laughs> I'm all over the place, aren't I? Okay, this is the first image. It's called Bookshop. Isn't that just freaking amazing? This is a store I would walk in and I would be there for hours. Hours and hours and hours. Now, this is from, um, the artist's name is Sung Kim. Sung Kim. And it, it, this artist has quite a few options on the website. Um, so, and it even says here, up in the top left, because artist and licensed by Bentley Licensing Group. So it is definitely a licensed paint by numbers. All right, so this is your inventory sheet. These are going to be a little hard to see, and I apologize, but it's just the nature of paint by numbers. It's going to be hard to see what the actual um, image is. <laughs> this just kind of gives you an idea. Now, this one is very detailed. It has a lot of teeny tiny, like look at this little, this little bookcase down here. See all those teeny little numbers? 
So you have to have really, really fine um, paint brushes, which I hope they included. Okay, now this is the canvas. Uh, each one of these are 16 by 20. So a very normal size to frame. Can you guys see that? I know it's hard to see. But yeah, this one's going to be kind of detailed. It's hard to show this to you because the canvas is so soft. See all the little numbers? It's all the books. Okay. All right, come on camera. I know you don't want to. Yeah. All right, and let's find the kit. Okay, this one. Now, my only fear with this is running out of paint. But, um, now this is your quote unquote kit. And we're gonna open this, but I just want you to see how it comes before I open it. It comes with an actual, it's almost like one of the sticker sheets that we get in like a DAC kit. Um, but it comes with the image and then all of your paint pots. And then it comes with a pack of brushes. So let's open the crinkle noise, sorry. Yeah, this is just, is this a sticker? I don't know if that is a sticker or not. Oh, wait. Y'all, I struggle with these. I think it is a sticker. I'm pretty sure it is. So there we go. Shows you the image again. Isn't that just fabulous? I saw this, I was like, woo, gotta get it, gotta get it. And again, artist, Sung Kim, and who it was licensed by, which that's interesting. Um, and it's got a model number and all that, so. All right, I'm just, I'm a little worried that, that this is all the paint you get for this entire canvas. But, um, from what I read on the website, if you run out, I, I feel like you can contact them and they will send you more paint. Okay, so put these in somewhat kind of order. Okay. Okay, now they did send me two of 16. See, look. Pretty sure that's black. Pretty sure that's black. I'm on camera. It looks black. So I've got one here and then one there. Okay. These are your paint brushes. Now, um, from playing with paint brushes in my very short, um, I don't want to say career, but short time of playing with paint, I would highly recommend getting better paint brushes. Um, cheaper paint brushes that you're going to get in kits like this, they're going to tend to fray, they're going to have stragglers, they're going to have, they're just going to have issues and it's because they're cheap, cheap paint brushes. Say that three times. <laughs> um, so if you want to get really serious about this, I, I would highly recommend getting a higher quality set of paint brushes. Just my opinion. Um, I'm sure these will work okay. Um, I have some paint brushes. I'm not going to dig them out, but I do have some um, paint brushes that are better than these. But the point is, is they include everything you need with the kit. So, um, and this is on, it almost feels like a tablecloth, this top part, whereas the back is that really soft linen. Um, but like I said, they recommended obviously putting this underneath something. I will probably use, I have a, a big cutting mat, um, so I will probably use that and put that under here. So that is the first one that I ordered, um, and I'm very excited to start these. Something different. I kind of need something different in my life right now. I feel like I've kind of hit a, have y'all ever hit that? 
you feel like you're doing the same thing over and over and it's time to do something different or you're just gonna not do that thing anymore yeah I'm, I'm kind of hitting that wall so I need something different than diamond painting um, I love to do the color by number um, I just wanted a different type of color by number and I've seen a bunch of people uh, unboxing beautiful kits from crafties and uh, DIY moon shop and I was like let me just look around and see what all is out there so I'm very excited about this very excited so I am definitely gonna start this when I get back from my vacation to go see my dad for his birthday uh, I'll probably start this uh, probably the day I get back or the day after so anyway yeah so let's look at all these paints I'll pull them up to you these are all your paints and every paint by number I've ever received comes in paint pots like this that are connected I haven't seen any that are not connected um, and like I said if the paint seems a little thick they said just add like a drop of water and stir it um, and acrylic paint is gonna dry so much faster than oil paint um, and it's not as toxic so to speak um, it doesn't have as many harsh fumes and all of that um, so acrylic paint is much easier and nicer to work with. Those are some bright colors. So yeah, that's my only fear is running out of paint. I did read some of the reviews, not on this one, but on another one I purchased that I showed you where they said they ran out of paint. So I actually ordered an extra set of paint. That is an option to order an extra set of paint for a kit. Uh, when I looked for this kit the bookshop kit to order extra paint it was out of stock so they didn't have extra paint um, does that mean they will restock extra paint I don't know I don't know um, I'm sure I could very easily message them and find out so. all right so that is the set that you get I really like this. I really wish I could figure out if this was a sticker. Pretty sure it is. It would be nice if it was. I just don't want to damage it if it's not. Well, I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> but like I said, again, the bookshop. By Sung Kim and there's a matching one to this which is an antique store uh, same artist I thought about getting that one but I was like mm, let me let me try to do this one first because these are very detailed this the bookshop and the antique shop so all right so that is the first kit so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roll this up and this is just your kind of your reference sheet so that you can follow this um, on the canvas. And the reason for this is because if you think about it, let's just pick a number, so 15. Once you paint 15, you can't you can't see 15 anymore on, on your canvas. So um, yeah. So you wanna you wanna keep this as your reference sheet so you know what you're painting in case you you know missed one or what have you, that kind of thing. So this is always nice to have a reference sheet. It's pretty necessary. It's kind of like, this is kind of like a key code on the left and right side of a diamond paint. That's the easiest way I can, I can put it. Okay, so I am gonna roll this up. Well, yeah, okay. We're gonna roll that one up. They were all really nice too, wow, okay that over here. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is called do, 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 Quiet Time. Quiet Time. Okay. And this one is, the artist is Abraham Hunter. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I got this, 
because this is pretty much identical to the view that um, is at my dad's house on the Chesapeake Bay. I was like, this would be perfect because they have a bottom balcony and then they also have a top balcony up here um, that goes the length of the house. So this, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like my dad's porch. <laughs> So I was like, I have to get this and I'm going to try and do this as a gift for them. Um, no rush. I'm not going to put a time limit on when I have to do this. But isn't that just gorgeous? Look at the waves and the clouds. The rocking chair. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Okay. So yeah, Abraham Hunter is the artist of this one. Okay. Sorry, I've got to pull the canvas out. I've got so much stuff over here. Which one is quiet time? Yeah, this one. Ugh. But yeah, they were having a buy to get one free. I was like, uh, yes. Okay. Sorry. So much stuff. Okay. So much stuff here. I'm so sorry. This is really hard for you to see. Okay. This one's going to be easier for you to see. Sorry, lighting. This one has a lot of detail as well, but it's not as detailed as the bookshop because, you know, the clouds are a bigger area. The ocean is going to be a bigger area. So there are going to be some larger areas like the, the top of the balcony there. I am so excited about this. Something new. Whee! I know y'all can't see the canvas at all. Um, let me see if I try to zoom in. If you, you'd be able to see it. It's probably not. I don't think it's going to focus is the problem. Yeah. It's too close to focus. Okay. No big deal. No big deal. It's just, it's so faint on there. That's why we're just going to stick with that image. I could probably zoom in on that image though, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Uh, it still doesn't like that either. I think there's just too much white. I don't know. We'll see. And I'll get the paints in this one. Oh, that image though. I just, I can't get over that image. It's so beautiful. Sorry for the glare. All right, again, you get your paint brushes. These are the same. You get like two skinny ones and then a wider one. These are your paint pots. I mean, technically, I guess I could have only showed you just one of these, but I want to open each one to make sure um, make sure yeah. Alright, so it looks like you get two of number nine, the blue. These two. Um, you get two of number eight as well. These are a different color blue. They're a little bit lighter than number nine. Um, looks like everything else you only get one color of. Look at that pretty pink and blue though. Oh, gorgeous. And for those of you that don't know, the tops, if you see, let me pick a darker color. They have little flip tops. So all you do is you, you flip, I'm not going to do it, but you just push that up. You like pull it like this and flip it open and that opens your paint and then you snap it back down into place. This is exciting. All right. So the greens are going to be for the ferns and probably for the, um, some of the sand dune, or not sand dune, some of the, the seagrass back here. Oh, this image. I just can't. I just can't. So exciting. And again, licensed artists. Licensed artists. And 
licensed artists with landscapes. They have all kinds of different sections on their website. They have landscape. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can go back to, oh look, here's the antique shop. Let me show you that one. That's the matching one to the bookstore. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh... okay. I'm just, I'm going to the website real quick. So. They have landscapes, places, and cities, art artists. Okay. Um, um, it says they're extremely proud to work with some of the most talented artists in the world. We've chosen artists who specialize in their chosen subjects. Some of our artists specialize in the painting of animals, others in landscapes, and some in city scenes. So these are more realistic um, artwork with this company. Uh, with every order, this is so important to me, with every order, the artist will receive a royalty from Masterpiece by Numbers. Remember to order with an honest company that supports the artist who create this amazing artwork. Wow. Okay, Masterpiece by Numbers has an exclusive agreement with the artist below. If you see any of our paintings on any other site, they are counterfeit. And they put that in caps. Caps. Okay, we've got Abraham Hunter, Al Agnew, Albert Williams, Ann Stoke. I'm very familiar with Ann Stoke. Colin Bogle, he does Big Cats, Daryl Bush, Landscape and Dogs, Willie Daniels, Landscapes, H. Hargrove, Landscapes, Nostalgia. There, there's, there's quite a few, quite a few. Um, there are videos on the site saying why buy from us and what is in our kits. So you can look at those. I'm just, I'm so excited. Y'all just, y'all don't know. <laughs> I am so excited to have found this company that offers licensed paint by numbers. Okay. So that is the second kit that I got. Oh, quiet time. Quiet time. All right. Oh, I just dropped a paint pot. I was so worried that all of this paint would be absolutely destroyed in the heat that we've been having. Um, we actually got to, I think we got to a hundred one day last week, which is not very normal for Virginia. I mean, we get in the high, you know, mid to upper nineties, but to go a hundred and above, no, no, no. And it's very humid. It's just, it's gross. I feel so sorry for all those people um, that are going well above a hundred, like California and Canada and it's just horrible. Okay. All right. That is the second kit. So let me roll this back up. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And these easily roll. Um, it's a very, very soft canvas, like I said. So you can easily roll those. Okay. That was kit number two. And I know this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Um, a lot of people don't like working with paint and paint brushes and that kind of thing. I get it. I totally get it. But I do. I used to paint when I was younger. Um, I actually took classes. Um, when I was younger, my grandmother wanted me to take drawing classes, sketching classes, and some um, watercolor classes. And I actually took a um, paint class as well when I was younger. So, okay. This one is called, uh, oh, what is this one called? Hold on. This is called The Joys of Spring. And again, this one is a 16 by 20, but it's it's long, long. Y'all, I'm having a day. Having a day. It's vertical. It's vertical. So, uh, this one is also by Abraham Hunter. Uh, yes, and this is the one I got an extra paint set with. So, so this one, I got two paint sets because... 
on the website, I read a couple of reviews that said they ran out of paint. So I said, hmm. And this one was available to get the extra set of paint. The other two were not. They were out of stock on the extra set of paint. So, um, I'm going to get those. I can show you the image. Now, as you know, cardinals and hummingbirds are my, well, you probably don't know, but cardinals and hummingbirds are my two favorite birds. I used to watch them with my grandmother often when she was alive. Isn't that beautiful? Sorry for the glare. Just beautiful. That is a dogwood tree that they are in, which is actually um, the Virginia state tree. Uh, so another reason why I got this uh, particular painting for that, that represents Virginia right there um, in the spring. It's just gorgeous. And this is a male cardinal. Male cardinals are always red, for those of you that didn't know, and that's a female cardinal. Um, they're always a lighter brown with just tips of red. Um, and then you've got a bluebird down here. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure someone will tell me right there. That is a, probably a yellow, maybe a yellow finch. There are all kinds of different birds in here. But the two I cared about the most were the cardinals. So anyway, Abraham Hunter, that's the image. Okay. And this is your reference sheet. I'll try to hold this up so you can see. This one's gonna have a lot of detail. Let's see all the numbers. Now, I will say, for those of you that have a hard time seeing things, like me, I have bad eyesight, definitely you want to use um, your glasses or maybe even a magnifying glass. Because you can't use a light pad with these because the canvas is way too thick. And you, you wouldn't want to damage your light pad and get paint on it. Isn't that cool? Look at that little bird. So yeah, so that is the joy of spring. Joys of spring, 16 by 20. Um, and again, I'll look at the, look at the paint. I also want to look at the paints and make sure I don't see any that have leaked or look dried up. You can definitely tell if they're dried up um, because you'll see it looks like cakey. Um, so these look good. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. It's pretty. Look at that. It's like a chartreuse. Look at these. That's yellow, but that's more of a chartreuse, like a greenish yellow. Oh, that pink. Look at that pink. Number 12. Love it. Oh, I cannot wait. I would totally take this with me to my dad's house, but we're only going down for the day. Um, I'm not going to get into that now. Um, we're just, we're having some issues with the animals here. So uh, we don't want to leave them too long. And my friend Sean is just going to come here and stay at our house for the day on Sunday while we go. So yeah, there we go. That is Joys of Spring, and that's the extra, that's the extra paint set. So. Ouch! I am just hurting myself today, y'all. <laughs> hurting myself. So anyway, okay, so that is what I wanted to show you. Um, like I said, it is called Masterpiece by Numbers. I'm going to have the links for these three kits down below. Um, I'm just, I'm thrilled, thrilled to have found, um, a place that offers, you know, licensed artists with paint by numbers, uh, that are landscape scenes, city scenes, animals, um, you know, more, more of my style, more of my style. So, and these I would absolutely frame and hang up if, if I don't mess them up, if they, if they look okay. <laughs> so anyway, so that is what I wanted to show you today. So I know this was a little bit lengthy, um, 
of a video and I apologize for that but like I said I wanted to open up each one of these kits to make sure first of all they had everything in them that they said they would have and that nothing was damaged and yeah now I do have a speck of something right here but it's outside of the image area so I don't care this is just a sticker you can pull this off this masterpiece by numbers yeah it's just a sticker they put on it yes oh and look this is nice okay I didn't even see this in the bottom they have masterpiece by numbers and they have the title of the piece that you're working on good 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 in case you forget which sometimes I do <laughs> awesome awesome okay so that is what I have to show you today I hope all of you um, at least go and take a look at this website and see what they have to offer and see if it's something that interests you if you uh, are interested in paint by numbers and want to try something a little bit different highly highly recommend uh, going to the site and just you know researching it I spent probably two hours looking at all of their items and reading about their company um, and all of that stuff so um, I definitely think it's worth worth looking at uh, they are having a sale like I said they're having a sale buy two get one free I'm sorry they were when I ordered this on June 26th I don't know if they're still having that now um, but the option of having it framed that's nice <laughs> that's really nice I mean you're gonna pay for it but you're gonna pay to get something framed anyway um, framing is so expensive so if you add another $25 to this kit for a frame it might be worth it um, I just didn't want to do that initially until until I saw if I'm gonna mess this up or what so yeah figured I would try these for practice and see how it goes so anyway thank you so much to everyone for watching and hanging in there um, if you have hung in here this long do me a favor in the um, in your comment section below please put either a paintbrush or um, you know what's it called oh my gosh why am I drawing a blank you know the little the little round thing with all the paint in it um, you know the thing Bob Ross holds when he paints when he used to paint paint palette there you go paint palette either a paintbrush the paint palette put that down in the uh, comments below as an emoji so thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody again has a safe and happy holiday weekend and if you have any questions about this company or about the cuts please feel free to message me I will if I don't know the answer, I will find the answer for you. I will try the best that I can to get an answer. Um, and you will definitely see this on a whip and chat probably uh, when I get back from my vacation. So everybody have a safe and happy holiday and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.